Yo guys, what is going on? It's Vicky here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing or talking to you guys about how you can get guard-like or aimbot-like accuracy. Now, I've been planning to do this video for quite a while, but I've never got around to do it, so yeah, I'm finally going to do it. But anyway, um, I just want to say I'm really, really close to 2,400 subscribers, so if you want to make sure to drop a sub. And also, if you guys, if this does help you in any way whatsoever, Make sure to drop a like, I really do appreciate it. And also, could you guys, I want you guys to drop a comment on what you guys want me to cover next in like a tips video or whatever. Um, so yeah, I've, I've already done, it's actually, the next thing I'm probably going to do is like how to get a better KD. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure to go ahead and say what you want to see next. But anyway, let's just get straight into this. So the number one tip, now this is the most important thing and I'm going to mention it first because how important it is. And obviously... That is sensitivity. Now, sensitivity is the most important thing on Call of Duty if you want to get a good accuracy. Now, I've been playing Call of Duty, I just want to mention this, I've been playing Call of Duty pretty much since I was like 11, so that's like 7 years. So, obviously, um, because I've been playing it for so long, I will naturally just have a good accuracy because I'm so used to how the... Um, controller feels. I'm so used to all the accuracy. I'm so used to just everything about Call of Duty. I'm just like kind of a natural because I've been playing it for so long. But um, sensitivity is honestly the most important thing. Now, personally, I either run or six. I either run a six or a seven um, sensitivity. It depends on the game. Um, now, on some games, I run a seven. And on other games, I run a uh, six. On World War Two, I run a six. Um, but for example, on Infinite Warfare and like Black Ops Three, I actually use a seven. Um, that's mainly because it's a jetpack game, so you kind of want a faster sensitivity. I feel because you're gonna a lot of people are gonna be jumping around everywhere, so you're gonna be wanting to have a high sensitivity so you can aim onto these targets. But in a game like World War Two, everyone is on the ground. It's boots on the ground, so. You don't need a crazy sensitivity to be able to, um, like, catch up with people where they're running and everything because they're just going to be on the ground and it's going to be pretty easy to uh, get your shots on target. So a lower sensitivity is probably better. Now sensitivity is key, honestly. Um, so I would definitely recommend just messing around with your uh, sensitivity. Now, if you either run a like, for example, if you run a five right now and Maybe it's too high or maybe it's too low. Just literally lower it by one or higher it by one. Play a day like that. See how you do. If you don't do good, change it again. Change it up or change it down again. Um, like for example, I used to run like a, I used to run like a five, and I experimented with it and I just moved it up by one, and then I moved it up again and. You can literally progress yourself through the sensitivities um, and honestly it will help you like for example if you're on a really low sensitivity like maybe a 3 um, and you're struggling with your sensitivity lower it up by 1 and then work your way through the sensitivities so for example um, go to a 4 for a day after that day go to a 5 go to a 6 go to a 7 I probably wouldn't go any higher than like an 8 but well, that is completely up to you. Anyway, the next tip is going to be to use a weapon you are familiar with. Now, myself, I use pretty much only the PPSH, but literally the only weapon I use is the PPSH. Every single one of my classes is the PPSH, PPSH, PPSH. It's literally my favorite weapon. Now, everyone has their own favorite weapon. In the gameplay in the background, I am using the AVS because it's a new weapon that just came out, so I thought I would use it. Um, but I recommend sticking to certain weapons because every single weapon has a different recoil pattern. So obviously, it's pretty difficult to get used to every single one. Now, me, once again, I pretty much only use the PPSH. So I am very familiar with the recoil pattern now the PPSH doesn't really have much recoil in my opinion 
It's literally just like a little tiny bit up or a little tiny bit right. And literally it's so easy to just counter that just by holding down on the analog stick just a little tiny bit. And I'm so used to it now that it's natural to me and I can just control it. And my accuracy is literally on point all the time. Now, that is that tip. But the next tip is learning to learning when to aim and not to aim. Now, for example, if there's more than one person in front of me, then I will lock onto one target, unaim, and then lock onto the other target. Um, I won't. I'm not going to kill one person and then stay aimed in and then aim to the next person because it will be too slow and by the time I've aimed to the next person he's probably going to kill me so it's best to lock onto one target um, let go of LT or whatever it is on PS4 and then aim back in onto the other person so basically learning to like snap onto the, play to the players I guess you could call it um, but that's pretty much it for that one. Now the next one is going to be warm up on games. Now I don't do this anymore, but I used to do this back back in Black Ops 2. I used to do this a lot when I used to snipe as well, um, just to practice, and it actually helped me so much. Uh, like literally on Black Ops 2, I used to get a sniper class, and I used to literally used to sit there and get like 100 kills or something, um, and literally just play against bots, and literally it would help my Help my accuracy so much. Now I mainly did this with sniping, but it can transfer to like SMGs, whatever. Just literally make a class of what you're going to be using. So, for example, if it was me, obviously I know I'm going to be using the PPSH pretty much every single game. So I would play a few matches against bots just to learn how, just to like you know get my accuracy warmed up, and then by the end of it, it it honestly helps so much. I know it sounds a bit. I know it sounds a bit stupid, I'm pretty sure Ali actually did this before. Now I know Ali doesn't really play hard anymore, but I remember watching him ages ago. And that's where I actually learned it from. Like literally in Black Ops 2, I remember ages and ages ago, he used to say that he would hop on bo 2 and play against bots for a few games just to warm up his accuracy. And I still, I don't do it anymore, but I used to do it. And it is actually so useful. Now this last tip is, isn't really a tip, but if you really, really need to uh, get better accuracy, then maybe invest in some control freaks. Now, I personally have one control freak on my left stick for PS4, and on Xbox I have control freaks on my left and right stick. Now this is completely up to you, um, but yeah, they're, they're pretty cheap, but... If you really are struggling, then definitely try and invest in one of these. The last thing I need to say is, it will take practice, guys. You can't just hop onto a game and think, oh, you know what? You know, you will have to take time and practice and practice every single day. But anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy this or if this video helped you in any way whatsoever, make sure to drop a sub for more videos like this. Once again, make sure to leave a suggestion on what video you want me to do next. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.